Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video for Reaper, I'm going to show you how we can move items around on our tracks without misaligning things. So let's take a look at how we can do that right now. Now when I'm working on a project, I'll tend to find that I may have multiple different tracks or with different parts of audio on it, and then I want to combine those into one. But one of the problems you tend to find is that if things are not perfectly aligned to the grid, you can very quickly and easily misalign those. You might not even notice it when you're actually making the alterations or the edits to your tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a great way of ensuring that if you're moving things left or right or up or down, you can constrict those to certain sort of parts of your audio lanes. So let's take a look at how we can use the lock tool now to do just that. So if we take a look at the track I've got in front of me, you can see I've got some full tracks. And I've also got some smaller pieces, things like guitar solos, lead breaks and things along those lines. Now, I might want to double those up and they may be small portions and they may not be perfectly aligned to my grid. Well, if I've got the snap option on there, then it's going to by default try to snap those. So if one of the ends is not on that grid, then it may snap to it and misalign the audio. But if we don't use the snap tool, we can very easily misalign things ourselves manually. So how can we work around that? Let's take a look at these two particular pieces of audio as an example. Now you can see if I zoom in, I'm aligned at the beginning, but at the end, I'm not quite perfectly aligned. So using that as an example, if I move things around with the snap, you can see if I move over a little bit too far to the right hand side, things will start to snap based upon the initial position. So you can see if I move things over, it'll snap and I can't do anything other than snap. Obviously I can disable that and I can move things around freely, but then I really could quite easily just misalign everything. So let's just undo that, switch the snapping back on. So what I want to do is let's just say I'm going to duplicate this particular piece of audio. And let's just also say that, let's just turn that off a second, that I don't have everything aligned at either side. So you can see the beginning and the end now are not aligned to the grid. So if I uncheck that and I move things around, I can very easily move that down and I can easily just move that over by accident and everything is out of line. So if we switch on the locking option, that will lock it based upon certain parameters. Now you might think that this is gonna lock everything, but if we right click on this particular tool, you'll see we have a context menu there that we can now go through and specify exactly how and what we're gonna lock our items to. So for this example, you can see I'm gonna use the items prevent left and right movement and prevent up and down movement. So if I uncheck that, I can move those left and right, up and down freely and easily just get myself into a pickle. So if I enable that, so I right click and say, let's prevent left and right movement. Now I can't move that to the left or right, but I can move it up and down. And because I can't move to the left and right, I know that's gonna be perfectly in position from its initial point. So if I'm duplicating something, just by holding the control call command key down and making a duplicate of it, I know they're gonna be perfectly aligned. I can just untick and just disable that. And now I can move those around freely. I can also come up and say, let's right click on there and let's just say, uncheck the prevent left and right. Let's say prevent up and down movement. So let's just say, I want to move this left and right. But I don't want to accidentally drop it onto the wrong track. So by doing that and enable the lock-in, now I can move left and right, but I can't move up and down. So we're locking that into a certain left or right movement or up and down movement. And we can just make sure we can control that perfectly. We can also use that in conjunction with the snap tool. So we can enable that and we can snap things left and right. So you can see that now will snap to each of my grid markers. So if I am using the grid to align things, I can make sure that everything is perfectly aligned exactly as I want it to be. And like I say, we have a whole range of different options available in there. So we can uncheck any of these, check any of them and use anything we want. We could also use items full and that'll lock everything, every media item on our entire project so we can't accidentally move things around. So if we're mixing and we want to go in and we just want to make sure that we can't mess up the project, we could easily lock everything into place, make sure that everything is locked down and enable and disable that just by using the L on the keyboard if it's the default shortcut or by using the lock icon. And like I said, you can just simply right click on there and uncheck anything you don't want to be locked. So we can turn that on and off and enable and disable the various different locking functions.
So that's what I wanted to show you today. It's a great way of making sure that any of the media you're moving around is always going to be locked in the position that you actually want it. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's going to help you speed up your workflow. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, pop those in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Until next time, happy mixing.